Yes, welcome back, you beautiful souls. It's time to talk more about the belly filling good stuff that we have on the show. And this is a show that you should definitely be watching. Now, last night, the country met Paula Mainstow. Now, her day job is in the office as an architectural uh, designer. She's also at the architectural firm. But by night, she throws herself into her hobby of interactive cooking with like-minded people. Now, she took home first place in the peas round of Mzanzi's newest cooking reality competition, Color Your Plate with Ku. And now, she has put herself in the running for a new job as she's also the country's next cooking celebrity. Now let's take a look at what went down. <laughs> Contestants, once again, congratulations. Under the cloche is the winning dish. And the winning plate is... <laughs> Nerves coming back, are you feeling that? It's always so intense out there, but let's give a warm welcome, of course. It's so good to have you in the studio. Thank How you. are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, considering we had load shedding first thing this morning, so I've had to get dressed and do my makeup in the dark. So. <laughs> <laughs> welcome to South Africa. I think we're all getting used to the chaos that we're living in. But look, it's, it's, it's crazy to see you on a show like this because you're actually in architecture. You've been doing that for 16 years, working at a firm. How has life changed, obviously juggling through this space, navigating through the architectural realm and now becoming somewhat of a potential celebrity chef? I mean, what's that been like? <laughs> <laughs> Scary but exciting. Yeah. Um, I, 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 I juggle a lot of things um, at one time. So, um, yeah, I work at, at, in the architectural firm during the day and then in the evenings I, I cook. Um, but I love it, it's a passion, so it comes easily. Now, I did ask you this off camera, but I'm gonna put you on the spot now. Okay. <laughs> you gotta choose, which one are you more passionate about? Is it architecture, cooking, or is it both? Everyone... And your boss is watching, be careful. I know, I know. <laughs> I've been there for 16 years, so I must enjoy working there and working with him, but my passion really lies in, in cooking and food and wine and the whole mix of it together. So, yeah, that's where, that's where my heart when all the good things come together. Yes, absolutely. So let's talk about the competition. I mean, you obviously enjoy clearly cooking with Koo, but why did you decide to enter the competition? Um, during the first lock, lockdown, the yeah. hard lockdown, um, there was nothing to do except be at home and cook. I remember actually everyone was starting to make banana bread. That yes. was like the standard yes. <laughs> COVID yes. uh, meal, yeah. But I was entering food competitions and experimenting with recipes and developing uh, new recipes using certain products okay. and winning quite a lot of competitions. So when the coup competition came about, um, it really attracted me because also of the um, entry into the, the competition on yes. TV. Yeah. So that's what really plugged it for me. And you definitely knew you had something more to give than just yes. cooking at home, of course. <laughs> well, let's talk about last night because there was a lot of suspense, a lot of craziness that happened in the episode. You started off with uh, the intention to cook a, a meal using, yeah. I believe it was uh, peas, was yeah. the hero ingredient there. But you kind of chose the wrong rice and it yes. seemed like it was tragedy. This seemed like this was the end of the episode for yeah. you, but no, you did <laughs> not give up. You refused and you made a hustle and you created something awesome which put you into the final position. What was that moment like for you? I mean, it definitely could feel like this is the end. Let me just enjoy it. What made you and what forced you to turn that thing around and I'm not giving up on this? Just my determined, I'm a very determined person and my love for cooking. And I just wanted to present a beautiful plate for the judges and something that was really tasty and unique and different. Um, and, and, and then I thought, let's use the pilchards in, in the crust, in the topping of the fish. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to make myself proud of my dish and then proud of my dish too. I think you definitely can be proud of yourself. I mean, in a situation Thank like that, it's high pressure, having to think on your toes, still then delivering something exceptional that gets you into the final round. I'm of the opinion, though, that this is something that can put you right through to the final to win the competition. How are you feeling about it, though? I mean, it's, there's big stuff coming up yeah. here. I mean, you're up against some big competition as well from what we've seen throughout the last weeks. You're going to need to bring your A game and more. How are you feeling about this one? I'm feeling pretty conf confident. I do know that there's a lot of fantastic cooks out there, um, probably much better than myself. But um, I've got to believe in myself and be strong, and I think I will get through. 
I got a feeling about you. Definitely believing in ourselves Thank now. You. Congrats Thank again you. to Paula. You're obviously joining previous winners, JP, Chantal, Nadia, and Zantile in the finale. And the mother city has more representation in the competition. Now, the question to you is which city will be sent to the finale next week? And be sure to keep watching Color Your Plate with Ku every Wednesday evening at 7.30 p.m. on SBC 3, or sorry, SBC 2, with repeats on Tuesday mornings at 10 a.m. to find out who else will be in the running against JP, Chantal, Nadia, Zandile, and of course, Paula, to become South African next cooking celebrity. <laughs> to you, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. We'll be catching you on the show Thank and uh, enjoy the cooking. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>